think I got it right this time. Woo! Hello, everyone. I think I got the orientation right this time. If I did, let me know. I'm excited. Because last time I was having it in a different orientation. But now I think I got it. All right, let me go ahead and print this out. But I can't see the chat. I can't see the chat. See if I do it this way. Hmm. I can't see the chat. Okay. So we're gonna wait for a few more people to come in. Oh, there you go. Hi, Donzel. How are you? Happy, happy Friday. Good evening. I could see the chat. It's right there. Okay. Huh. This is dope. This is dope. This is dope. Hello, DKC Crafts LLC. Thank you. So tonight is going to be a late night live. Um, I look a hot mess, so please excuse the appearance. I've been working on vending machines for weeks. <laughs> um, all my life, I had to create vending machines. That's how I'm feeling right now, okay? So, please excuse my appearance, you know what I'm saying? Yes, full screen. My friend TJ showed me how to adjust the settings um, here in YouTube on YouTube, so I was like, okay. I'm not really that much of a tech-savvy kind of person, so this was a job well done. For me <laughs> having the right orientation so i'm gonna just wait for a few more people to come in i am going to be printing my images i have images printed already but i want to print out a graduation one um i do have a million and one orders um you guys i really really do i can't accept any more orders i feel so bad when i have to decline orders but i cannot accept anymore you look so pretty. Oh, no. If this is what pretty looks like, then I must be looking fine when I'm when I'm out. 99.9% .9 of the time, I look like I don't love myself. But that 1%, that 1%, baby, nobody can tell me nada. So, um, of course, I needed to be facing this way so I could, you know, let y'all see me introduce myself for those who are new here. And then I'm going to put you guys on another tripod to get the angle of my desk. And then we're going to get started. Hello, it's my first time on your live. Hey, and Johnson007, welcome to the live. Welcome to the Gifted Gang Gang, Gifted Family in the building. Um, I'm Javaya. Hello. Hey, Javaya and chat. Hey, Nina. Nina, Nina, Nina. Hey, Keisha, welcome. If you're new here, please advise me where you're tuning in from. I'm from New Jersey. Woo, woo, woo. Let me know where you're coming in from if you're new. And then we are going to get started. So this is like going to be a watch me work. I do have a lot of orders to do. Um, so even though this is going to be a watch me work, please feel free to ask me questions. And I will hopefully be able to answer them. If not, I will hope that some people in the chat will be able to answer. Jackie, Jackie, Jackie. Hello, Jackie. Atlanta. Okay, ATL. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Jersey in the building. Arlington, Virginia. What's going on? Thanks for tuning in. I have Tampa, Florida. Okay, Tampa, Florida. Atlanta. Okay. ATL in the building. All right, so how many people we got up here? We got 19. All right, it's good to, it's, we're good to go. So, of course, you guys, um, I'm Javaya with Gifting Hands by Javaya, founder and owner of Gifting Hands by Javaya. I specialize in dye sublimation. However, I do dip and dab into other areas of the crafting industry, specifically 
the vending machines. I started off as a paper crafter back in 2018. Then I uh, found the love for diet supplementation and that's where I started my business. However, however, I am a very multi-talented person and I don't like to just uh, niche down to one niche. So um, wherever I can, I offer specific products to my customers. I do have a gift shop as well. So I sell finished goods to my consumers and I also sell blanks, sublimation blanks for those who want to sublimate their own blanks and sell it to their customers. So that's just a little synopsis about me and what it is that I do. I also love helping people. Um, so my gifted family, the gifted gang gang will tell you all about that. I do love helping people. I love to extend the helping hands. I'm a firm believer that, you know, we all can eat. I don't see any of you guys as my competition. I'm in my own lane. And when you're in your own lane, there's no traffic. So I'm more than happy to share information when it becomes available. If I know something and, and you need to know it, I'm, I'm here to help. So there's that. So today we're going to be doing um, the vending machine. And she has great energy. Thank you, Nina. Yeah, I'm a whole little vibe, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I think that is so important because a lot of people pretend to be people who they're, they pretend, they pretend excuse me, to be people um, that they're not. And me, I'm not like that. I don't know how to be fake uh, because I'm on camera. So what you see is what you get. That's why I be coming up here looking all crazy sometimes, you know what I'm saying? But as long as we get the job done... That's all that really matters. So what you see is what you get. I'm a very honest, transparent person. Um, I am from New Jersey. So you already know, got the little New Jersey vibe going. But when it comes down to business, I can be very professional. I am very professional, which is why I have a five-star rating on Google, Google reviews. Um, my business has been doing really well and exceeding. So even though, you know what I'm saying? Right now we chilling, we chilling, right? We, we vibing, but when it comes in, when it comes to a professional setting, you definitely get the professional Javaya, okay? <laughs> but right now, we're just chilling. So today, um, of course, I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my uh, vending machines. I have a million and one vending machine orders. And um, I have been getting a lot of questions about the vending machines, how you make it, where do you uh, purchase your phone boards from, what kind of printer you have. So... Everything will be listed down below in the description. I do have templates available for you guys to purchase as well. With your templates, you will receive the supply list of everything that I use um, to make my vending machines. But I will also leave the supply list down below in the description. If you don't want to purchase my templates, no worries. It's all good. If you want to you know, try to do it yourself, I'm all for it. But if you want the list, I will still leave everything linked down below in the description for you. I have two different kinds of vending machines. I have the standard vending machines, and then I have the claw vending machines. The claw vending machines is the one, the big one, um, that has, like, the windows on all three sides, like, front and the sides. It had the LED lights, and it had the little claw graphic, like, as if it's going to be picking up um, the gifts that's inside. So I have those. Um, and all of them come with different sizes as well. So if you don't have a large format printer, you are not limited. You can actually use one of your home printers to create these projects. So please don't feel as if you can't make them because you don't have a large format printer. You most certainly can't make them. You just have to um, make the smaller sizes, which is perfectly fine. Okay? So my image is actually printing out. While that's printing out, I'm going to go over the supplies that... I'm going to be using, and again, you will find them linked down below in the description after this video. Okay, so the first thing is the foam boards, okay? Foam board. Nice, high-quality, durable foam board. I purchased my foam board from Hobby Lobby, um, and I get the one that costs $8.99. I do spend more money on foam board because I like the I like high quality uh, products so that the customers can have it at least for more than two days or three days. You know, they can actually keep it for a long time. So the Hobby Lobby foam boards are way more sturdier. You can also put heavier items um, in your vending machine gift box with some other foam boards that I've tested out, like the ones from the Dollar 25 tree, the ones from Walmart, they're super flimsy and they will crack easily. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pay more for 
quality. It's always quality over quantity for me. So foam board, Hobby Lobby. I get the 32 by 40 inch um, foam board for $8.99. This one is um, the smaller version of it, and this one is $1.99. I took all of the large ones, so this is what they had left. <laughs> all right, so we got the foam board. You are going to need a sharp blade, okay? This is the blade that I use. It is called Ofa. It's an Ofa blade. It's very sharp. Um, I get it from Amazon. It will be linked down below in the description. One of the keys to this is a sharp blade. I prefer to use this blade. I also use scalpels. So sometimes, you know, we perform a little bit of surgery with these vending machines, okay? So I like to use the scalpels because as you can see, it is very skinny and it's easy to get in those corners and it is very, very sharp. This is a surgical um, tool. So you will definitely get in up in there where you need to get it. So I do like this. Shout out to Nikki from my party favorites. I got this idea from her ruler you are going to need a ruler i prefer to use a metal ruler with a back corking um because the back cork, cork uh keeps your image in place as you cut along so the last thing you want is to have your ruler sliding all around and you accidentally cut your actual image it's a done deal from that so metal ruler cap uh cork back in pair of scissors okay sharp pair of scissors I also like to use a brayer um, for the kind of media that I use. Media is equivalent to paper. So the type of paper that I use for my project, sometimes as you're applying it onto your foam board, it does tend to bubble. So the brayer comes in handy because it will get those bubbles out, okay? And speaking of media, I use printable adhesive vinyl. Printable adhesive vinyl. A lot of people ask me, what kind of media you use i use printable adhesive vinyl the company where i purchased it from is called breathing colors and i ordered the large rolls because i use a large format printer if you don't have a large format printer no worries you can still use a printable adhesive vinyl and i honestly recommend using the htv rocks printable vinyl as well this is eight and a half by 11 and i believe they have larger sizes as well Okay, thank you, Jackie. If you're coming in, please give me a thumbs up, like my video, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you, if you aren't already subscribed. All right, so we got that. I also like to use a scraper tool. Here it is. Scraper tool, and I have a piece of felt attached to it so that when I'm smoothing down my image that's applied onto the foam board, I get a nice smooth surface. So this kind of sort of goes hand in hand with the brayer, all right? You're going to need your hot glue gun. I prefer to use the small hot glue gun because I have more control. Hey, Tasha, welcome. However, this one does have a cord. So if you can find a cordless um, hot glue gun, go with it. The only disadvantage with this one is the cord, but I do make it work and also, um, you're going to need a lot of the small glue sticks, okay? But I prefer the little glue guns. If you like to use the larger ones, you may, you know, save on glue sticks. But me, I like this, the small ones. It's more compact and it's easier for me to control where I put my glue on my foam board. I also use a heat gun, okay? If you work with hot glue, you know that the uh, hot glue can get, it can get a little messy, Okay? Someone on TikTok uh, told me a trick about how to clean up your hot glue if you get it in areas where you don't want it to go. The trick is using a hot, the hot, um, hot gun. It's just a regular hot gun that I got from uh, Michaels. It's a craft one. And what you will do is you will apply the heat into the areas where the hot glue is at, where you don't want it to be. It melts the hot glue and it becomes tacky. And once it becomes tacky, you're able to remove it with either your finger or a cloth or something. And it looks as if nothing never was there. There was never no glue there, okay? So that's a trick, pro tip for you. Oh, going back to the media. If you don't use um, printable adhesive vinyl, you can certainly use photo paper, okay? Photo paper.
okay i use um this is the koala brand photo paper this is 13 by 19. they have different sizes as well okay and this is the gloss finish it doesn't have an adhesive backing but um there's two things that you can do you can use regular elmer's elmer's glue to put on the back you can use sticky adhesive to put on the back as well again i will leave everything linked down below in the description to make it a sticker this is a roll that i got from amazon and it's just a sticky adhesive um or hobby lobby has foam board excuse me with a sticky back end So I know I have went over this before in my other live video, but I'm pretty sure that I may have new viewers here. So just bear with me real quick, guys. This is um, foam board from Hobby Lobby. And as you can see, um, when I peeled this paper backing back, this is a sticky, um, a sticky platform here. So if you don't have adhesive vinyl, or if you can't find a large uh, size adhesive vinyl, no worries, get you some photo paper and then you can purchase your Hobby Lobby board with the adhesive back end and you'll also be good to go, okay? So there's, you're not limited, okay? You're not limited. So there's that. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Plastic hinges, okay? A lot of people ask, how do you secure your front door? plastic hinges okay the red is um the carrier sheet that protects the adhesive okay which once you peel the red back you will expose the adhesive and then it will be easier for you to apply the hinges onto the sides okay so you need that last but certainly not least oh You're going to need acetate, mylar, or any clear protective. You can use craft plastic as well. Clear um, media for your windows, okay? Some people like to use plastic. Um, the only plastic I would use would be the window installation kit. And I have tried that with one of my orders um, because you can use your heat gun to straighten the plastic out. But I wouldn't recommend using the silif the silifine or silifine, I don't know how to pronounce it, that plastic that gives that wrinkled look. I don't like that look. So, acetate, mylar, or the Windows installation kit that you can get from any hardware store such as Lowe's, Home Depot, as long as you have a heat gun to get out the wrinkles, okay? This is a large one that I had got off of Amazon for my larger um, vending machines. But the 12 by 12 one that I get, I purchased a bunch from the craftprintshop.com. So I will leave that down below in the description as well. They are a, um, a, a company that is growing their craft business. They have a bunch of craft supplies as well. Is there anything else that I'm missing? Last but certainly not least, Velcro. Velcro. And I use the Velcro to secure the door, the front door, to keep the front door shut. Sometimes the front door just opens slightly and so to keep it shut and keep it safe when it's in transit going transit going to its destination I use velcro strips, okay? So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to put you guys on this tripod right here And again, please don't worry. I will leave everything down below in the description if you do purchase my template you're going to receive um Hi, Courtney. What's going on, girlfriend? You are going to receive the supply list as well, okay? I'm actually going to take this jacket off because it's a little hot up in here. And love the vending machine. Uh oh, okay. This way. Bear with me. Y'all already know. If, you're, if you are not new to me, you know that I am technically challenged. And I'll be trying my best to make sure I get some good angles around these parts. <clears throat> All right. Thank you so much, Court. These vending machines going to take me out, though. 
Okay. <clears throat> Oh no, that's not a good angle at all. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, hopefully that's okay. So let's clean this area up. Take my jacket off. And then we are really gonna get started. Okay. I got my little mini M&Ms here. Um, my technically challenged bestie, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. I'm going to get this one day, Court. I'm gonna get this one day for sure. Ooh wee! Let me just move this up just a tad bit. Just a little teeny tiny bit, so we could get a better view. Another thing I'm going to have to invest in, you guys, is. A better tripod. Okay, always clean surface. These are for actual customers. <clears throat> so I do clean my little surface. All right. And I brought me a new mat because my old mat, shout out to Nina because she. She helped me get that. She helped me get this mat, y'all. <laughs> um, because my old mat has so many cuts in it. Even though these are self-healing mats, that other mat did not self-heal. And those cuts was getting in my way. <clears throat> okay. Let me grab my image. All right, so I feel like it's not showing you guys what y'all need to see. Oh, goodness. Okay, so if you, if you order my template, this is going to be the 12 by 15 size vending machine, okay? If you order my template, and you need to outsource your your prints, right? I made the template size so that you can print all of your images, so your front, your back, your sides, your shelves, and the top to fit a um, 24 inch by 36 inch sheet of vinyl. That's going to help you save money. And number two, you can fit everything on one. So you don't have to purchase separate sheets per each panel if that makes sense okay a lot of people ask me what size do you make your panels if you purchase my template the dimensions are available there for you but i do make it to where you can fit everything on one sheet okay there's an extra space here and the reason being is because typically there can there can be another panel there for the shelves if you have the functional push on your vending machine okay so that's why this this is empty because this image does not have the push feature and so that's why this spot is empty but if you have the functional push there's a space here where you can fit everything all right so again this is going to be for a graduate um 12 by 15 vending machine and i just still feel like the way that this is presented is just not it. I don't know, y'all. Okay, I'm sorry. Hopefully this, maybe I can back y'all up. Ay, ay, ay. There we go. Yes, sir. All right, so I'm going to just move my laptop out the way. All right, and sometimes it gets a little hard because this is literally my only desk that I have. So I try to like clean up as I go. So now we're gonna go ahead and um, cut this out. Now, how I how I um, I have a system in place because hey kids, the view is good for okay. Woo, thank you. Okay, 
I have a little system that goes on here when I'm making these vending machines, especially because I have so many vending machines to make. I have to have a system going on. So what I do is I start with the back and the two sides first, okay? So that's what I do. I start with those. I'm going to take my foam board. Since this isn't the large one that I typically typically get, I don't have to cut anything. I also like to work in sections um, because, again, my this is my only desk here, and sometimes it can get really, really crowded. So I work. I typically work in section, and this size right here is perfect. It will be the size that I cut down when I have my larger um, when I have my larger boards anyway as well. I'm going to peel to expose the adhesive back in, and I'm going to place it on my foam board. All right, I'm right handed, so I like to flip the board over sideways, right? Take my brayer or your scraper tool, don't matter which one, and I'm going to take the back piece of the paper that I peeled back. And then slowly but carefully use my brayer to smooth the image down, okay? This is going to prevent any bubbling of any sort. You're going to get that nice, clean, flat surface, okay? Now, I will say, when I'm working on the larger um, vending machines, the 16 by 20, baby, I'll be like, why did I even offer that? But... You make it work, okay? Get that nice little rubber dub dub here. This grad is so beautiful. I'm so proud. I love graduates. I really do. It's not easy going to school, especially these days. It's it was it was hard when I was in college and undergrad, and even a a grad student myself. So these grads have a really a really soft place in my heart. And I'm so happy for them. I wish them all the best with their future endeavors, for real, for real. It ain't easy out here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the two side panels. Again, this may look repetitive from the last live, but I'm pretty sure we may have some new viewers up in here. So... All right. I'm gonna go ahead and trim off these this excess. I do save scraps. Scraps come in handy. Trust and believe. Some scraps come in handy. Okay. See why it's important to have a sharp blade? Now. I'm going to take my metal metal ruler, and I don't know if y'all going to be able to see this, but let me see if I can bring it up close to you guys so y'all can see better. Okay, a lot of people want to know how I get nice straight edges, and hopefully I won't mess this up because I'm trying to, I got the tripod in between my legs. So what I do is I trim off a very teeny tiny bit, right? So I line my ruler up. I'm able to see a very little bit of ink from the image, right? What I do is I take my blade. I don't cut on a slant, okay? You do want to keep your blade close to the ruler, but you don't want to cut on a slant. If you cut on a slant, it's going to be hard to glue the panels in place and i'll and i'll show you what i mean in a minute because you probably like what are you talking about 
I'm going to show you. You want to keep your blade straight. And you just want to go straight down in one movement. Move your hand down if you have to. Okay. I'm going to do that again. And I think I might have to change my blade. Okay. And now let me back y'all up. I did pretty good. The goal is to cut from edge to edge and to have a nice clean um, edge there. Okay. You don't want to cut on a slant. You want to cut straight down so that when it's time to glue everything in place, everything is flush. Okay. So I'm going to back y'all up. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. Hopefully that was a good view. I, I, I couldn't see anything. Was that a good view or no? Yes, okay. Was that a good view with my demonstration of how to cut? Okay, perfect. Yeah, it's time to change the blade. You know when it's time to change your blade if you have to keep going in to cut. So the reason why I like this blade right here, and you can get these, you can get blade, it don't have to be this brand, but you can get blades like this where you can cut off the end. I just brought my mom one from Hobby Lobby yesterday because I need, I need, ooh. What I, look what I did. Uh-oh. I just brought... I'm going to just change this whole blade out. How the heck I did that? What in the world, Javaya? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. I literally chopped it off. That is wild. Lord. That is a wild-ish. That's some wild ish right there. But I got, I don't even know, Courtney. All I did was take my little, this little tool right here. I was just trying to cut and, and, and uh, I don't even know. All right. So y'all have to be very careful when you're changing your blade. Of course, it's a blade. Duh, right? You don't want to cut yourself. These blades could do some damage, baby. Some serious, could lead to some fatality too, because you could definitely bleed out. So you want to make sure you're careful with changing your blade. So what I was saying was, you know when it's time to change your blade when you are trying or you're cutting um, too much and you feel like um, you're like going like this as you're trying to cut, like it's, it's fidgeting. So it's time to change the blade. I'm just trying to be careful. Slide that up in there like this. Bring it up. And I like to have mine up like pretty, pretty high like that. Tighten that up. And we go to go. So I'm gonna just dispose of this. Cause that was wild. I don't know how that happened. <clears throat> That was crazy. All right, let's continue. But yes, yeah, definitely sharp blades. All right. This is done. Nice clean edge to edge cuts okay back is done now we're going to do the sides so i'm going to go ahead and do the same thing Joining me. 
Uh oh, did I mess that up? Nice clean cuts. So like I told you guys, I have a system. So I like to work with the back and the two sides first. Um, what I do to make sure that everything is nice and aligned is I use my self-sealed healing mat to make sure my measurements are accurate. This is just an extra step that I take um, just to ensure that everything, was go every everything is going to line up nicely. I missed the question. Someone asked something. Um... May you recommend an adhesive company to purchase from Walgreens? Adhesive paper is dull. Um, have you tried Staples, Walmart? I do offer um the prints, but I'm not sure if it will be cost effective because you guys will still have to pay um for shipping. So I line my um panels up i use my self healing mat um measurements just to confirm my dimension and it is correct i have 12 inches by 15 inches i'm good to go i also make sure i'm um, of the direction that my image is right now so that when i put my side panels it don't matter what the graduates but i think i want to do it this way so I'll, I'll make sure everything lines up nicely all right so I know that I have to put the side panel this way. With the side panels, I do the same thing. Before I do any gluing, I make sure that everything lines up nicely. If you're purchasing the Gifted Hands by Javaya template, you shouldn't really have any issues. Um, if you do, it will be, be because you may have to trim just a little teeny tiny bit. How long does it take to make one? Oh my goodness. Sometimes it takes me like an hour and an hour and a half to make the larger ones. Uh, the smaller ones, about 30 minutes to an hour. If there's no mess up because rest assured, rest assured, we be messing up. Okay? So again, before I do any gluing, I just make sure everything is nice and aligned. If you use my template, chances of any misalignment is very slim. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my hot glue and glue the edges. Glue, excuse me, glue the sides of the side panel. Just like so. And I like this um, small hot glue gun because I got really nice control. Bada boom, bada bang, right? Now I'm going to carefully, I sit down for this part too, so I can like really get close and see. And edge to edge, edge to edge, all right? Once you get your placement, you want to push down. There's another thing. Hey, Nyree, girl. Another thing that I want to um, advise you guys as well. My templates for the side panels, you are going to be gluing on the inside of the back panel. 
Let me, let me say that again, okay? You're going to glue on the inside of the back panel. When you do it that way, you are going to see the white from your foam board, okay? Some people like to set their templates where they glue directly on the side. Let me just show you guys like this. Excuse me. Directly on the side. So no, the white is not showing from the back panel, but it will be showing from the side panel, if that makes sense. Like that. We're going to be gluing on the inside. Okay? So just keep that in mind. Nairi says something. What'd she say? Very nice vending machine. I'm so excited to get my buttons from. Yay! I'm so excited too. Those buttons are so cute. I um we had the design. I actually designed it last year during graduation season. And um because I was experiencing some issues with overseas stealing my designs, I was indecisive. Um, whether or not I was going to release them for this year. It just gets so tiring when you come up with designs and then they just, it gets stolen. Like, I don't mind people, because I sell the blanks. So, I don't mind people purchasing the blanks and then selling them finished to their customers. Because that's the, that's the whole point of it. What I dislike is for overseas to get their hands on the actual design mass produce it as a digital file and then sell it to usa suppliers that's what i have an issue with and last year me and my team because i do have a team of attorneys we were contacting overseas overseas vendors like crazy um and it just gets so tiring like it's just but it's all good though What's for me is going to be for me. I can't stop everybody from doing what they do. But, yeah. A lot of the blanks that y'all see now came from my brain cells, honestly. Um, but because I'm, like, a, on a smaller scale as far as business, nobody will know that. And I don't, co I don't have anything copyrighted. I don't have the designs copyrighted. Yeah. Yeah, my team don't play. But it was just, it was getting out of control where um, we were we contacting everybody. They do have laws over there. So for the most part, the companies were like, oh my goodness, we're so sorry. You know, our customers will send us pictures and, you know, they don't have the kind of machines to cut. And so we just do it for them. And I'm like, I understand. But, you know, the distribution is solely for Gifting Hands by Javaya only. Um, one company was like, how much do you want <laughs> How much do you want? This is overseas companies. How much do you want um, for your design so that we can sell it? And they try to work with me, but I don't really like the overseas um, board. So, you know, I, I kind of sort of declined to working with them. I'm not a fan of the, the, the boards that they use over there. But yeah, that's my life. That's what's been going on. All right, so now it's time for the shelves. I For this step, I also do the front panel as well because we need to see where is a good place to put our shelves. In or and and for in order for us to do that, we have to cut out our front door. Okay. And I'm trying to see if this fits. Yes, it was. So I'm just going to use this piece right here, this piece of foam board for the door, for the front door, and I'm actually going to cut a little bit more white off. And I'll be feeling bad because, you know, I don't want to, 
I want everybody to eat out here. You know what I'm saying? I just, and I don't want to take from anybody's pockets, anybody making any money. You know what I'm saying? Like the, the blank suppliers I'm speaking about. But I don't want, I don't want to take from me either. Like I got a family that got to eat and stuff too. And I'll be coming up with these ideas. They come from, from my brain. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's really expensive to copyright all of these designs. Like it, it gets expensive. And I was talking to my team. I'm like, is it even worth it? You know what I'm saying? But it's all good though. Like I said, what's for me is for me. I wish everybody success. Um, and we just got to keep it, keep it moving. That's it. I just got to keep promoting what I can do and how I can help people, what I sell. And that's, that's it. God's going to, I'm going to do my best. God's going to handle the rest. Okay. <laughs> so I'm not even, I'm not even upset anymore. So now that we have our old junk, I wasn't supposed to put this one on this. That's why I get. Dang. Okay. So what I discovered is that when I have designs like this that I have to cut around the image, um, and it, and it, since we're only doing the door, I like to use a thinner, still nice quality. It's a very nice quality. It's still very nice. It's still very sturdy. It's just much thinner right i like to use this foam board for the doors um especially when i have to cut around the images like that okay the thicker foam board takes forever the smaller skinnier ones are good they're perfect and i'm so mad that god just did that um we're gonna see if I could work some magic right quick. Plug my heat gun in. What I'm doing is I'm trying to loosen up the adhesive on the adhesive vinyl to see if I can remove my image. So I can put it on the other foam board. The, the um, phone board for the front is not from Hobby Lobby. It's from a company on Amazon called Jerry Art Taramas. And um, Jerry Art, Jerry's Art Tarama. I will definitely leave that link down below. And I don't think I'm going to be able to use this because it's getting all wrinkled and stuff. Another reason why I like to use the Hobby Lobby foam board, Hobby Lobby, you need to sponsor me. I will take a bunch of foam board for the rest of the year. <laughs> the surface is really smooth. So if you make a mistake and you need to lift up your adhesive vinyl, you don't have to worry about the paper peeling and sticking. Um, I've had a lot of issues with other foam boards from other places that's um, a little bit more on the cheaper side where I needed to lift my adhesive vinyl up and it just ruined the whole entire thing. So, um, with Hobby Lobby phone board, you are literally paying for what you get. All right. Quality over quantity. And as I mentioned early on in the video, I want for my customers to be able to put heavier items and their vending machines and their gift boxes. And if you're using a flimsy foam board, it's not gonna work. 
The adhesive vinyl I get from a company called Breathing Colors. I order it directly from their website. Breathing Colors. Breathing Colors need to sponsor me too. I'll take a whole year's worth of adhesive vinyl. <laughs> Let's see. I don't know if this is going to work. I may have to just print out the front again. But we'll see. Nope. Dang, I might have had it too. Dang, the vinyl curled up. Dang. Dang, dang, dang. Okay, and you see what I'm talking about? Like, it rips. So, the one from Amazon, the one that's just for the door, even though it's a nice, durable, nice quality, not flimsy material, if you make a mistake with adhesive vinyl and you try to peel it back, you're going to get that. So I don't want to waste all of this. So I'm just going to cut this. Now i got to print my front door over. And I may can save. Your girl is very frugal. I'm going to save every little piece that I can. I just wasted all my time doing that. The, the front printer real quick and then I'm going to continue to work on the shelves okay if you purchase my templates a lot of people ask oh how do you um how do you design because um the templates that I have are not like a canva edible template where you can drag and drop your your graphics you literally um especially in my description I do advise you must know how to leverage the creative softwares that you're using so what you do especially if you use like silhouette studio i provide the dimensions you'll excuse me you'll bring in all of your graphics and you will place them in the perspective areas right same thing in affinity designer what happened affinity affinity just closed on me Essentially, for the templates for the vending machines, you have to literally design from scratch. I provide the dimensions for you, but it is your duty for you to know how to leverage the software that you're using. Unfortunately, these are not compatible with Canva, but you can still use Canva. I provide the dimensions. So what you would do if you want to use Canva, you will have to create a custom size and then create the size of uh, whichever panel you're working with in Canva, all right? I personally prefer, um, if you're using, if you're gonna be making a 12 by 15 uh, um, vending machine and you wanna use Canva to design, I will create my custom size as a 13 by 19 canvas size so that you can print with a 13 by 19, with your 13 by 19 paper. Or you can put in the exact dimensions that's provided that I give you, design it, and if you're going to send it to a printer, create a whole new size, like a separate new canvas page, create that size to be 24 inches by 36 inches, or whatever size you're going to be using when you send your images to your printer, and then you will just basically copy and paste what you created on the previous page with the exact size, you will copy and paste those panels into the new canvas size. I hope that makes sense. I really do hope that makes sense. But Canva, I don't have the Canva templates for this one. I have the Canva templates for the other, um, for the claw vending machine. But it's very simple. If you want to use Canva, you just create a custom size. That's it. And once you design each panel the way that you want it to be designed, you will create another custom page size. That custom page size will be the size that you're going to um, select 
when you're sending it to your printer for printing. That's it. Come on, Affinity. I think I have too much stuff here um, on Affinity Designer. Same thing with Silhouette Studio. Silhouette Studio be cutting off on me. I think I have to get rid of some stuff. So all I'm doing here is just copy and pasting the, um, the front panel. I'm going to put this to a 13 by 19 size, canvas size, because this is for a 12 by 15 vending machine. So it fits perfectly on a 13 by 19. I'm not going to put, use 13 by 19 paper though. Um, I'm going to still use my adhesive vinyl. You know what? I probably can because I do have scrap, but I'm not even going to go all, I'm not going to, I'm not going to do all of that tonight. I'm not going to do all of that tonight. I'm going to go to properties. Um, I'm going to select the type of paper that I'm using. This is photo paper. It is a glossy photo paper. I'm going to set my print quality to high quality. I'm going to select print preview before printing. Page setup. Um, my page size is going to be 13 by 19. So, um, ANSI, A-N-S-I has Super B. It's also known as Super B in certain computer softwares. Y'all can't even see half of what I'm doing. Um, so, it's going to be 13 by 19. Y'all still can't see, but page size, 13 by 19. But my paper source is going to be my roll paper that I already have in my printer, which is 24 inches. And then I get to keep whatever I don't use. Okay? And then I'm just going to change this to 13 by 19. Okay? And then I'm going to go ahead and print that out. All right. So that's going to be printing. Now we can continue. You see what I'm saying? Sometimes we mess up. But if all is well, oh, I got to select print because I select the print preview. Sometimes, like, it, it messes up. And the more mess ups we do, the more we're delayed with getting the job done. But I'll be feeling like every time I'm on live, that's when stuff want to mess up. Like, it, it never fails. I can never get through a live without it messing up. I'm sorry, y'all. Now the, now the printer want to act up. This is unbelievable. The devil is out here working for real, for real. I'm going to continue with these um, shelves in the top. Y'all hear that? 
That's the bubbles. I'm gonna get those bubbles out. Goodness. Oh, see, I don't got time for this. This whole thing about to get printed over. This is wild. This is very, very, very wild. I'm not even about to play with this. I'm about to just print this whole thing over. And it is what it is. This is where music would be helpful right now. See, that's what I get for messing up in the first place. Anybody asking any questions? Quiet. I can't see if anybody asking questions. Now this thing don't want to print. I understand what's going on. Uh, for that delay y'all okay so this right here is the top it's gonna go on top of our yeah i'm good okay. can you give me something to drink i'm parched you want soda or water? um water ice cold water hey babe can you come here and check on the printer? It's making some crazy sound. Which printer? The Canon printer. Does it say something? Because it um the the job went to the queue to print. What is that? Yo, this printer and this laptop about to catch these hands for real, bro. Oh, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. She just need a little patience, y'all. That's all. That's what I thought, y'all. She need a little patience. Don't mind her. <laughs> she need a little patience. Patience is a virtue. That's all she needs. She rushing everything. I ain't rushing. Tell her we, we here with her. We here with her, y'all. I just don't like like. No, got technology, bro. Yeah, technology takes time. You gotta be patient with technology. You gotta be patient. Nothing. Gotta be patient with technology. 
Alright, I'm gonna take a piece of scrap foam board from um, the one that we had cut out earlier for the back panels. I think this is from the back panel. That's why I tell you sometimes we don't have. I'm telling you, now when we have a, fil a million and one vending machines to make, I don't have time for technology to be acting up. You know what I'm saying? That's because PJ came and said a prayer. Y'all know he's the preacher's child. They, I'm telling you, him and his parents, they touched Jesus' cloth. I'm going to tell you that for real. All Every time he come around, that's when stuff want to start working. Like, I wasn't just here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm just chopped liver. Did it stop printing? PJ! Yeah, him and his, him and his parents, they definitely, they, they touched the cloth of Jesus. Something happened with the printer. I don't know. I can't go over there. Well, we need him to stay right there. I'm telling you, right now, Reed? What happened? I don't know. I just said I don't know. I'm right here. I'm over here. I can't see. Oh, what's happening? Ah, Lee. Yeah. Thank you so much. It stopped. It stopped printing. What is that? Yeah. I be, uh, you know what it is. It's, it's right here. Print the time in. Say, print the time in. PJ, stay right, stay by the printer. <laughs> stay by the printer. If it start printing while you right there, I'm going to start shouting. Oh, no, see, we need Sister Stackhouse here. You, 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 it stopped printing. It's right here, though. I know, but it stopped. Do I have ink? Yeah, you got ink. Any one of them got an X? No. It stopped printing, y'all. So print time and remain in 27 so print time and remain. That is wild. That just stopped printing like that. What the heck? Oh See, uh-uh. I need a, you know, I need a parcel up in here. Because you, 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 you decent. But I need something strong. I need somebody stronger to reach the Lord. I just put my hands on it. You just put your holy hands on it? Hi, 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 baby. Get out of here. Get y'all. PJ put his hand on the printer. I will show y'all, but my room is a mess. I don't care. Y'all see? It's coming. He got his hand on the printer, <laughs> and it just started printing. I'm about to start shouting. It's coming out. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You just gotta be patient, baby. Be patient. Uh-uh. Patience is a virtue. Uh-uh. Patience is a virtue. I don't know who I married. <laughs> I married a good one though. <laughs> Bless those hands. I'm telling you. I am telling you. Just gotta have patience. That's all. That is that is wild. Keep that hand right there until <laughs> my image finished printing. <laughs> I'm going to church on Sunday because this is, this is right, this, this right here is, is come on. It's coming out. Woo! Praise the Lord. Do we cut it? So? Yeah, it's going to cut at the end. Okay. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So I'll be telling y'all. I'm with you, PJ. Donzel said he with you, PJ. Thank you, Donzel. It's my man right there. Donzel, right? Yeah, man. <laughs> All right, y'all. This marble is so pretty. I love oh, that. Oh, my God. I don't design any of my um, designs because I don't design. My homegirl designs them for me. So, the two panels, one is slightly, slightly larger than the other one. The one that's the biggest is going to be your base. All right? 
again, if you use the Gifted Hands by Javiah template, minimum, minimal adjustments, if any, all right? Before I glue anything, this is why I needed the front panel to be cut out. Hey, Nicole, girl. How you uh, doing, friend? Mommy? Yes. In my school, I have a Nicole. You have a, a Nicole in your school, too? Good. Tell Nicole, say hi. She can hear you. Nicole, my, my daughter said hi. Hi, Nicole. She said hi, Nicole. So, before I glue anything, what I like to do is I like to take the front panel and align it up. Be, I mean, uh, the front door, and I like to align it up because we don't want our base or our shelves, I should say, to stretch out the sides of our vending machine because we want everything to be nice and aligned. Jayla, Miss Nicole said hi, Jayla. So, you gotta bear with me real quick for that. Everything is gonna be so pretty. I would have been done. I would have literally, y'all. I would have been done with this. I would have been done. And the crazy thing about it is that I had to print. Can y'all see me? Hey y'all. Hey, look at my dimple. Look, look, look. Hey y'all. My dimple. Dimples and kinks because I got kinks too. But I would have been done with this um with this vending machine if I didn't mess up. And then I had to go in and print the whole thing over. Crazy. You may want to come over here and get it. This should have been I got stuff in my hand. Something a little stronger in here. You still cute. Uh -huh. Thank you. I do not feel cute at all. Still? Still? Oh, you good. Good. It's gonna cut on its own. Okay. Um, it's good. It's Just, <laughs> Don't you dare move. Let me get my this one ready right here. I need your presence right there. I know you better tell Jayla. Oh, I didn't even see that. Jayla! Yeah. Auntie Keek said hi. Hi, Auntie Keeks. Hi, Auntie Keeks. Hey, Nakia. So, we had some technical difficulties. I messed up, as always. You know, that's just a... Javaya mess up stack house because that's what I do every time I'm on live always messing up but we're gonna get this thing right all right it's gonna cut on its own PJ don't don't be afraid oh click cut yeah click cut, cut. Paper. yeah cut paper yeah cut paper All right, so you can hear me that it's done. Don't be scared to touch the vinyl, oh, PJ. I'm scared to touch the vinyl. You are scared. No, make sure it's done. I know you feel like doing thing over. I'm just you scared to touch the vinyl. No, nah, I knew. Yes, you was. I know you feel like doing it over. I'll make sure it's cut. Uh huh. <laughs> Okay, that's done. Now, honestly, I think this piece is too small. Is it too small? It sure is. So we're gonna save that, and we're gonna take this piece right here. Ah, this phone board everywhere. <sighs> Okay. 
I don't want to talk too soon, but I think from here on out, it's going to be a smooth sell. Oh, that's a big bubble up in there. Oh. I'm missing questions. I'm sorry. I may have missed it. Are the shelves slightly smaller or are they flush? Um, they're going to be flush, but a teeny tiny bit smaller because you need to be able to glue them to the sides. Um so, for instance, you want to make sure, again, that you cut straight and not on a slant. Because when you adhere it, you want it to be flush in the inside. Y'all, you see how it's, like, literally connecting to the side doors flat and flush? Okay? That's what you want. It's not aligned. It has to be down at the bottom because this is the base. But essentially, that's what you want. You want it to look like this, where everything is nice and aligned, okay? The reason why I didn't glue it together yet is because I need to cut the door, the front door out to see where to place the shelves. Because we're going to cut out this little window right here so that we can actually see through the vending machine. And I'm also cutting out the door because I want to make sure that my shelves, my, my panel is not expanding the sides beyond where it needs to be expanded so by me cutting out the front and aligning it up i'm able to see if everything is going to align nicely and which it should because i work really hard on the templates and i do have people who purchase the templates that had success as well um keeks my friend keeks um made some really dope vending machines using my templates and she said it was a 10 out of 10. Uh oh, I got some white right there. So now it's time to cut the window and around the grab. The last time I did this, it took me forever because I was using a thick foam board. And if we're talking, if we're comparing the two, look at the thickness of this one and then look at the thickness of that one. Okay. It is so much easier to cut around the grad, especially again, if you have a design like this, nice, thinner, Foam board, still high quality. It's not flimsy, okay? It's not flimsy. It's just thinner. I'm going to take my scalpel. Nice and sharp. This is a brand new scalpel. And we're going to perform surgery. So I'm going to... If you get bubbles on the inside, I'm going to show you guys here. You can see that I got bubbles right here. I'm not concerned with that because that part is going to get cut out anyway, all right? So, I also have a black border around the window. Y'all see the black border? I'm going to cut on the inside of the black border. So, a little bit of the so the black border, once I cut the white part out, it still it still shows. So, I'm going to align up my ruler right in front of the black border take my blade make sure i get it good there also pro tip when you align your ruler up right 
you want to count the numbers to where you have to stop your cut at. Because once you put your rulers down, you're not going to be able to see where you stop at. Because your ruler is going to be flush against the black border. So it's not going to be easy for you to see. So once you align your ruler up, you want to count down the inches of where you need to stop. So move your, move your ruler slightly over so you can see some of the white and you will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I need to cut at the 9.3 inch mark there. Okay? So that's a pro tip. Count down so you can see where you need to stop your cut. You don't want to cut beyond your uh, window border. I sound like I'm yelling. Why do I feel like I'm yelling? I'm sorry. I don't mean to yell at y'all like that. There we go. 9.35. Stopping right there. All right. Flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing. I need to cut at the, the line that's right before, that line that's right before the 7.5 inch mark. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, line this up, take my blade, and then I have to stop at the line that's right before the 7.5 inch mark, right here. Good. Now, when it comes to these, these places right here where you got like the little skinny marks at, you can still use your ruler. You're just going to cut up the plate. You're going to cut it up and um and different. Y'all know what I'm saying. Like, you're going to cut this part first, different sections, right? And then you don't even need a ruler for this. You can just follow the black line. But I want to use the ruler. And so from here, I'm going to cut the line before the 5.25 inch mark. And it would be really helpful um, if y'all knew how to read. It's not the 5.2 mark, is it? 1.5. 1.5. Knowing how to read a ruler, a measuring tape, is going to help you out a great deal. Or you can use your eyes to cut it, to cut out. And then this little piece right here, I'm going to just use my eyes for that little piece right there. Cut that. And because this foam board is so thin, it cuts really, really, really good. Like it cuts through real good. And then over here, I'm just get this little section right here. You know what? Now I'm going to use my scalpel. So I'm just cut. Okay. Now it's time to cut along the grad. So I'm just literally going to trace around, around her with my scalpel. And because, again, the foam board is super um, lightweight, it's not thick, it's cutting so nicely.
Woo! Woo! We almost did. Much more faster than the last time I did it though. For sure. Let's see. Okay, that piece came out. So far, so good. Nice and clean. Okay. Now I do see the cut is so clean. Thank you. Um, I do see right here on the inside. I don't know if y'all gonna be able to see that, but it's like little piece of white. I'm just gonna clean that up real quick. And it's, it's not that serious, but I'm just gonna clean that up with the scalpel. And then right here at the bottom, that little white piece right there, the little scalpels come in handy to clean up stuff. Just cut that straight on through. Okay. Okay, so our door is done. So now what I was saying before was we want to make sure. Oh, uh -oh what I do? I don't know what I did. I got to add a little bit of glue. That's weird because I don't know where I got to add the glue at. Okay, so we're going to take the base. We're going to put it at the bottom. Right? We're going to take our door. Thank you. And we are going to see if we need to make any adjustments, okay? So this fits perfectly. Y'all see that? So that's telling me that my base at the bottom, I can glue that. Because my front door is going to be nice. All right. I don't know what happened with this one. I had to put a little bit of glue. That's so weird. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this panel.
bottom and the two sides. Sorry, y'all can't see. But I'm just gluing the back and the two sides or the bottom and the two sides. And then I'm just going to just align it edge to edge, just like so. Make sure it's down all the way. And then just put this one up like that. Once everything is in place, you're gonna apply pressure. I'm so proud, I didn't get really a lot of glue nowhere. pressure hold it down for about 10 to 15 seconds the sides okay and that's what we're looking like so far so Got a little bit of glue right here, but it's good. All right, so now, again, we're going to use our front panel, and we're going to take our second shell. We're going to just put it in the inside, just anywhere for right now, right? We're going to put our front shelf on top, and now we get to see where we want to put our second shelf. I'm going to try to lift it up for y'all so y'all can see. Okay? We're going to use our front door as a guide to see where we want to put our second shelf. Do y'all see that? All right? So I'm going to put it down so that I can see. And you want to be mindful of what your customer may want to put on the bottom. Right? Their products may have some height to it. So you want to give your customer enough space for height, just in case their items that they're going to put inside is tall. So I don't, I don't know what my customer is going to put inside, but I'm going to just make sure that I give them some height. And I'm also going to use my self-healing mat as a guide to line up my shelf because... Sometimes it when you glue it, it might be on an angle, it might not be even. So I'm going to use my self healing mat, one of the lines to measure these up. So I can see better. So I'm gonna use this line right here. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to mark any in inside. I'm going to try to hold this so y'all can see. Them. Okay, I don't know if y'all can see. So once I have a good placement, I'm going to mark right here on the bottom. And then on the two sides, so I'm going to mark there, hold it, mark here, and then I'm going to go ahead and do the other side as well. That way, oh, I will know where to place my panel once I have the, the glue up there. Okay? Was y'all able to see that? So now I'm going to go ahead and glue this shelf. Bottom. Yes, okay. Bottom. Side. Other side. Then I'm also going to glue the sides where I marked, only the sides. So I'm going to do the side here, put a little bit of glue on that side, 
and then a little bit of glue on this side. Place my pan on there. Slide that down. Pressure on the sides. Okay. You want to make sure that your panel is back to all the way to the back and you want to apply pressure. Now I did get a little bit of glue here on the sides and it's a little tacky. So I'm going to take this and see if I can just get that off real quick. Tweezer. And I can't. So this is where the handy dandy heat gun is going to come into place. I'm going to see if I can get you guys, get it closer so that y'all can see. The light in my room is trash. I need to invest in some better light. Oh, shoot. As soon as I said I need to invest in some better light, the light fell. So right here... I don't know if y'all can see it because it's not showing on camera. Hmm. There we go. Right here is some glue that I want to get rid of. So I'm going to heat it up. And it's going to become tacky. You don't want to do it too much because if you do it too much, you're going to loosen your panel. So I just want to just do it just enough so I can take my tweezers and remove that glue that I don't want to see there. And it's coming right off. So I'm going to put a little bit more heat. And it's coming right off. It's going to look like nothing was never there. And see, that's why I said you want to be careful because if you put too much heat, your panel is going to loosen. And that's exactly what happened to me. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of pressure. That glue is gone. Y'all see that? Pro tip, okay? This is how you get your customers wanting to come back. So now it's time to put the panel for the top. And if everything is um, aligned nicely, if you did everything well, everything will be aligned perfectly if you use my template. Okay, if you cut, if you glue, if everything is aligned nicely, I mean, if everything was done nicely and correctly, everything should match up. Okay? Right here is a little off because look at the back. I don't have it 100% aligned. But if I do this, look. And I straighten it out on the side over here. Because remember, this is not glued yet. Everything will be lined up nicely. Okay? So if you haven't got my template yet, go ahead and cop that. I'm going to go ahead and glue the top.
and I do one side at a time. I line up one side first, make sure that's all good. And then I line the back, make sure the back is good. And then I start to get onto the side over here. Make sure everything is good over here as well. Okay. And I see some glue starting to come. Wipe that off. And I got a little bit of glue on the actual yellow, on the actual design. So again, I'm gonna take my hot thing, take that tacky. Comes tacky, and then I'm just going to just take my weaving tool, take that right on off. Perfect. Okay. All right. So now we're going to take our front and we are going to add our acetate. Now, where is my acetate? The other one. Hmm. I, have a, I have a 12 by 12 sheet one as well, but I'm going to just use this one, line it up. My desk is a mess. I <laughs> got stuff everywhere. Sorry. Um, where's my scissor? I'm just going to trim off. I don't have any more double-sided tape either. That is crazy. So I have to use my hot glue. I'm just gonna just cut this off like so. Save this for another project. Okay. And then I'm going to cut off, this is too much here. So I'm going to trim some of that off as well. worst cutter and I have my paper trimmer right here you would think I, I would use that but no I might as well right just trim off this a little bit make sure it's even okay that's better so this one doesn't have this um film doesn't have the plastic film on it like to remove so i can just literally just go and place this down onto my front door but of course i don't have any more double-sided tape so i'm going to use hot glue i'm gonna have my brayer handy because i'm going to flatten the hot glue to give it a more nicer cleaner look but if you have double-sided tape, you can use double-sided tape. All right? So I'm going to put some at the top. I'm going to put some on the sides. Bottom. So you're making just like a square. 
rectangle and the other side. Line this up. Roll this down. Oh, y'all seen that, right? Nothing happened. No bending, no nothing. This is why it's important to get that nice, high-quality foam board. If that was foam board from the $1.25 tree, this would have been ruined. Okay, so we have our window there. Oh, my goodness. I got to cut out the little white part so the money can pull out. That's okay. That's okay. Because we want to put our um, our plastic on anyway. We want to put the plastic on first anyway. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cut this out. So I made like a little white box. So I know that that white box is where I need to cut out. What I need to cut out, excuse me. So I'm just going to go ahead and just follow this white box. Just cutting out like a regular rectangle. She learns from her mistakes. <laughs> I at least try to. Sometimes I'll be making the same mistakes, Donzel. Okay. Okay, let's see. I see what happened. The mylar right here. I'm going to just cut that part. See what we be going through behind closed doors? This don't be no joke sometimes. Okay. Okay. I still managed to get a nice clean cut. Praise the Lord. All right? Praise the Lord. So now, we're going to put that here for now. Now it's time to build the box. I use scrap foam board. That's why I'm saying the foam, the scraps come in handy. I typically just, thank you, I typically, I, I don't have a template for the box because I just, I just um, use my eyes and I line everything up based on this cut, right? So actually, let me just turn this over like this. I'm going to, is this the thick one? Nope, this is the skinny one. All right, perfect. I'm just going to cut a... Thank you, Nina! Oh, so thank you so much! Oh my God, thanks, Nina! I'm going to just um, cut a random piece of foam board, from, like, or use a random piece of scrap, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to line the foam board up with my cutout. Just like so. So I can see how far I need to cut. Once I get that, I'm going to take my pencil and I'm going to mark exactly where I need to cut at, okay? 
So I have to put this down and y'all won't be able to, I don't think y'all going to be able to see what I'm doing. But I'm just going to just take my pencil and cut. Excuse me, mark where I need to cut. All right. So, and I'm going to use my ruler for this one, for this cut. I'm going to do the same thing, mark it, and again, I just literally just use my eyes for this part right here, and I use my cutout. off just a tad bit more and I can actually take off a tad bit more because I don't need that bottom shell to be so far out Perfect. So that looks pretty good to me. Okay. Now from here, the part that I cut off, I am going to line it up like this. It's a dollar sign next to the chat to send. Yes, if anybody wants to donate or wants to support me by sending me money through a super chat, please feel free. I would love that. Um, so now I'm just going to take the, the this other piece of scrap. We're literally just forming a little box. And then I'm going to align it up to the side like this. And whatever is left over. Let me see. I'm about to do it this way. Whatever is left over, I'm going to trim off. So I'm going to mark it over there in that spot and trim that off. Okay? Based on what we have here. That's what I got to trim off. Okay, line that up. And slice. Now, I don't want my size to be this tall. So I'm just going to just literally slice it in half. So here's going to be my, my side, like that. I'm going to take this piece and cut it out, the same size. This, this little piece right here is too small, so I can't use that. So I'm just going to use a piece from here and this, just cut the, the, cut the size and the shape out to make my life easier. So I'm going to slice this like so. And then slice this across. Okay. Now I have my two sides and my shelf. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead. And what I'm going to do is if you guys have real money. Here go my fake money. I'm just going to test to make sure the money fits. Real dollar bills are smaller than um, the fake ones. So if the fake ones fit perfectly through your slot, you're good to go. 
Andrew, thank you so much. And guys, look. Perfect. Perfect. Thank y'all so much. I got a little cut here. Let's hot glue that down real quick. Okay. So now, from making these, I realized that it's not a good idea to glue the shelf exactly where the cut is at. You want to glue it slightly below. So this is where I'm going to glue the shelf. Slightly below my cut. So I'm going to put some hot glue right here. And then I'm going to glue it slightly below my cut. Just like that. Okay? Now, I left a little teeny tiny space right here. So that we can fit our side. But when we turn it to the front, you can't see it. Okay? So, another thing. Be mindful of how far you put your shelf. You want to make sure you have just enough space to fit your, um, your, your foam board. Which is why I like to use the skinny one. Because it fits right there. And then the same on the other side. The goal is, for one, not to see your compartment in the back. And for two, I had no clue what I was doing. <laughs> um, you want to make sure that you don't see your compartment in the back. And that you're able to open and close your front door with no problem. Okay? So you need to make sure you have space on this side as well so that your door can shut. All right? So I'm just going to go ahead and glue these real quick. And I feel like I may have to cut another piece because this got a little dent in it and it's giving me issues. So I'm going to just cut another piece out real quick. Again, this don't have to be perfect. It just needs to be functional. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and glue the sides. And I can cut a little bit off here because I see a little bit of overage. So I'm going to just cut right there. And it's all about building, y'all. It's all about building. You can see I don't have a template for the little box for the money pullout. I'm literally just, just doing this as I go and hoping for the best. Perfectionist at work. <laughs> Perfection is so overrated, but I'm working on it. I just like when my customers come back to me. Customer retention is something that's important to me. Where's the money? Okay. 
I'm going to glue the other side now. I should have trimmed this one off too. Because I got a little bit of overage. Okay. And then there we go. There's our compartment. Now I don't put nothing on the back. Um, I leave it just like that. Because the money ain't going nowhere. So when you roll it up, you want to tell your customer to roll their money up fast. I mean, not fast, not fast, tight. Roll the money tight. They put it right in a compartment. The money is not going to go anywhere. I provide the pull tags, in which I already created one for Miss Naya here. And then... The customer is re ooh, 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 ooh. the customer is responsible for um placing this is old tape so that's why it's um it's not working right but you want to make sure you advise your customer to put the tape securely and when they um they insert the money into the slot that a little bit of the bill is exposed just a teeny tiny bit. So I'm gonna roll this money up again, put the money in a compartment. Okay, just like that. Then there will be no issues. All right. And again, the um the Real dollar bills are, are slightly smaller, just a little teeny, like a hair smaller. So I made the slot large enough so that it can fit, the bills can fit and go through, you know what I'm saying, nice and smooth. Even if the customers don't want to use the plastic, which I highly recommend because it will prevent any tearing of the actual bills. If I'm printing at home for 8x10, do I print borderless? Um, yes, if you will print borderless, if you don't, if you want edge to edge prints like this, if you don't want to show any white. Okay, so now it's time to test. I will open it, close in. See? This is what we want. We want to be able, whenever you're making your compartment in the back, you want to make sure, again, that you are paying attention to this little space here. You want to have at least 0.5 inches of space so that you're able to close your door, okay? So you also want to pay attention to where you have your money panel as well. So you won't have no problems opening and closing your door. Okay? So now, because I use a different thickness for the front panel, this is slightly taller. Is it? Yeah, it's slightly taller. So I'm just going to trim that off. I don't know if you can see that X is white at the top. I'm going to trim that off, but I'm going to make sure that it's aligned first. So when I mark it, it's going to be perfect. All right. So I have literally just a little teeny tiny bit to trim. 
that's why it's always good to um see how everything aligns up before you start gluing because sometimes you may or you may not have to trim off you know certain pieces of your panel okay so i'm going to mark here on that side and then this side i gotta mark just a little teeny tiny bit um, actually, psych. And take your time with this, y'all. Take your time with this. You know what? Maybe I don't. I don't. I'm going to leave it just like this. Because I have a feeling. You know what? It's, it's slightly larger, but I'm afraid if I cut it, I'm going to cut too much. I'm going to cut the teeniest, tiniest bit because I marked it. I'm going to cut a little teeny, tiny bit. Pray for me, y'all. Tiniest, tiniest bit. Okay. I think I did it. I did it. Do you sell the button template where you pulled the money from? <coughs> like the little compartment, this right here? Where is the scraper? vinyl on the front yeah it comes with the template it comes with your template if you purchase the template for me um it's there
I'm going to take my plastic adhesive hinges. I'm going to do three. Use three, excuse me. And I'm going to remove. How long we been up here, y'all? I don't want to miss anything, so I'll buy it later on tonight. Okay. I'm going to remove the red back in. Because this part right here is sticky. The clear part is the, uh, stick, the sticky adhesive. Okay. Then I'm going to sit down for this so I can see. This part is very tedious. You want to align your front door up. But you also want to make sure that the other side is perfect as well, right? Okay, good enough. <laughs> so I am going to take my first one and I'm going to apply it right at the very top. So literally, it's just hinges, plastic hinges. You start with the middle and then you, cl you close it, okay? Start with the middle and then close it. So I'm going to start with the middle. And then I'm going to close it. So you're going to close, secure the top panel and the side panel. Okay? I'm going to do the same for the rest. For the other two, I mean. I see that there's a little bit of over rich here, but I'm not mad at it. It's gonna, it, it is what it is. Okay, we hand, This is handmade. I, right? I don't think the customer's gonna be like, oh my god. So, let's see. I'm gonna move this over just a little bit. Like this, and I'm gonna put the middle one in the middle. I'm gonna use my eyeballs though to determine where my middle is. And I think this is the middle, so I'm gonna do middle, close, okay? That's done, and then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for the last one. Remove the plastic. Oh, my stomach is growling. Right. Okay. Middle. And press. Okay, this looks good. This looks good. Open. Close. No problem. Right? So remember earlier in the video, I was saying sometimes the door opens like on its own. So what I do to keep it shut is I use Velcro and I get the small ones because I don't need to Velcro the entire door. This size to me is a perfect size. You do great work. Thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. So with the Velcro, of course you get the fuzzy side and then you get the like, you know, rough looking side. Literally, since I've been doing this for so long, I know how wide I need to cut this, and this is the size. This is the height that I use. I don't cut it this way. I don't need that much. 
So I'm just gonna take my ruler. And what you want to do is if this is your first time doing this, you want to measure the thickness of this white part right here. Okay, because that's where we're going to be putting that Velcro at. Right along that white skinny edge. So because I've been doing this for so long, I kind of sort of just know where to cut with my ruler. Um, so I cut the, the tiniest strip. On the rough side and then on the fuzzy side and I just use my eyes nothing nothing fancy at all <laughs> nothing fancy at all these two little strips okay from here, why well, do you with the strip? They so small, they're gonna get lost on my messy desk. I take the non-fuzzy side and it has an adhesive backing. So you wanna remove the white paper from it. Okay, so now it's now the back is sticky. You want to you want to make sure it don't stick nowhere else. You want to just place it right here, right along the white part of your side panel. This just helps give it a nice clean look. It's, it's not really noticeable. You see that? You see how it's not so noticeable? That's what we want. We don't want anything to be looking all bulky and stuff like that when the customers get it, right? Then I take the fuzzy part, I put it right on top so we we marry in the two literally right on top give it a little press like burnish it down just a little bit this tool has a white backing that you need to peel away so i'm going to go ahead and peel this away while it's still married to the first part of the velcro right so let me see if i can get a good there we go so i'm gonna go ahead and peel away this white backing now this is sticky I'm going to close the door shut, press it down, and there we go. The reason why I do it that way is because I know that when I when I close my door, it's going to be in a it's going to be in a good spot. Open close and then you have your beautiful graduation box and then for let me see hold on I could have sworn I cut it out oh I did okay I cut hers out so her pull me tag is going to be this I cut out a piece of gold foil because she got gold and then the blue, right? I'm going to secure that together. But so we can see what it looks like. I'm going to put this right inside. And it's so much easier for the customer to just go ahead and put their money in this little compartment. They don't have to worry about no back door, no back or like no top cover. It's literally the two sides in this shelf right here. All they do is roll their money up. You want to make sure you tell them to roll their money up real tight. The money will fit in perfectly and it even has some wiggle room. So it even has some wiggle room up in there. Close the door. Okay, Grad gets her gifts, and she gets her money. Okay, so there's that. We did it, y'all. <coughs> we made a beautiful graduation box. Why well, I feel like the top shelf is like, I feel like the top shelf is like uneven.
The top shelf is uneven. Y'all, look at that. I gotta fix that. But when I look at it like this, I don't... Why it look uneven here, but when I open it, It's so weird. Have you did the supplement? No, I haven't tried that one, Nairi. I don't even think I'm going to have the time to do it. Because I got all these orders. This is, this is bothering me. Because when I open this up. And when I look at it, it's not crooked. But when I close this door and look at it, it's giving cricket. I mean, crooked, not cricket, crooked. Should I just leave it alone? Ooh, these little um these little strings from um the hot glue y'all know like little hot glue string strings do y'all see the crooked or but when I open it it don't look crooked step away tripping because add a little cute knob to the front oh yeah i could do that i don't got no knob though i know i'm not tripping okay so this is done what i do is i just glue the pull me tag and then we put it right here in the compartment so the, the, the uh customer won't miss it so honestly this is ready to go it's ready to go I'm not going to do this one on live, but this is a birthday one. And I am going to, I have so many orders. Like this is just some of them. The rest of the paper is over there. It's, it's unbelievable. I'm going to finish this whole order so that my mother can go ahead and wrap this up. What's that? The, that's the tag? Yeah, that's the tag. Can we put the tag in a plastic and let them do it because they got to put the money attached to it? Well, no, I know. I'm just saying I have to I have to glue the little put the tag. I've been taping it to the inside. Yeah, that, no, that's fine. What I'm saying is I have to glue it to the gold. Okay. All right, this order is completed. So, do anybody have any questions or concerns? We've been up here for a long time yet again because I done messed up like I always do on live. Yeah. Um, but do we have any questions or any concerns? 
Let me look at the comment. Let me see. Thank and you, I mom. Put it in, and I'll tape it tomorrow. You gonna tape it tomorrow? Yeah. Don't Can you put it in your room? Cause I don't want it to get messed up. Yeah, you gotta do another one. Or no, uh, uh, nah. Okay, May we see how? Thing. Oh, ma, they want to see how we package it. Oh, not tonight. You, you don't gotta be on camera. Absolutely, I'll be more than happy to show you how we package. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, indeed. Give me, give me a few seconds. Um, aside from packaging. Do anybody else have any other questions or concerns that I can possibly answer? Oh, I'm trying to clean up because when I get off, sorry, she said, sorry, mama. <laughs> My mom does not like being on camera, y'all. But she does all of the pa she does all of my packaging, all of my packing. She does a phenomenal job. Ugh. Trying to clean off some space. I think I might do another one, and then I gotta go tend to my husband. Y'all know how husbands are. We gotta go um, catch up on some um, some TV shows that we've been missing because of my because of me working on these vending machines. So we gotta catch catch up. Ugh. Ma, what? come on now. No, I, I made space on the table. The the the, the, the it is gonna be big enough, Mom. It's not, it's not like, nah, that table is not going to be good for what I got to spread out this thing plus tape it three times. Ain't like you got wide, um, wide feet. This table is wide enough. Look, y'all, she's trying to, she's trying to make an excuse to not show y'all. Talking about my table not wide enough. My table is more than wide. No, it's really not. My table is more than wide for what you got to do. I promise She's trying to come from my table. Look, I'm over here making space for you. You will have plenty of space. No, it's not. Enough. Is this it? No, that was the big one. Plenty of space. Um, until um yeah, is, is this gonna fit the course there and then I gotta do another one. Let me see. We're gonna have to make it work, Mom. Yeah, just come. You're not going to be on camera. Well, yeah, you are not. Even, I tell you, it's not going to be wide It's going to be perfect. Yeah, and I got to make the other one. And you got to show that I taped it three times. Okay. All right. So, I'm going to try to make this work because my mom claims that my table is not large enough for... For her. So she usually is in the comfort of her room on her nice clean sheet. So what she does is, let me unplug this. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do another one tonight. but We have bubble wrap. What she does is she takes the bubble wrap to make it long to make it wide wide enough so that it can fit and wrap around the vending machine right so i don't know if you're gonna if you're able to see the tape mark there there's a tape mark there and there is a tape mark there i get my velcro from michael you can get your velcro literally from from everywhere from anywhere anywhere that sells velcro i get my bubble wrap from walmart and this is the I don't know the width of it, but she tapes it so that it's wide. All right, Ma, I need you from here because I don't know what else you do. Where, where's the little um plastic thing that you gave me for? Here you go. So for the little pull me tag, Josephine, girl. Girl Josephine, if y'all not following the best uni, like what is y'all doing? 
I love you, Josephine. So I got like this little self adhesive bag, um, bag, and I put the pull me tag right in the inside to protect it. And I know because my I'm I'm working. My space is. Hi, booze kid. That's my girl. I love me some Josephine. She is real and raw. Real and raw. Mommy and myself, what you see is what you get. And then I'm going to just close this up. And then fold it to the side. I'll put it in the middle. Yeah. What, what middle. am I doing, Ma? Come on now. My mother does this. I love you back. Keep, what she say? Keep up the amazing work. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying to be like you when I grow up. You gotta show the people what you're doing. Uh, this ain't nothing. To put the tab in here. There's really nothing to show this. God, yeah, yeah, right there. And then the only thing you do, the little teeth, open a little door. So let me show you. So what she did was she put she put the tape so the sticky side is out and then how how do you how do we do it? I want to open it up. They'll know that it's right there and I feel like I'm good. So there's a little pull me tag right there. I didn't know you was doing that. I don't think the customer's gonna see that. Are you gonna see that? What happened? How did I put the money? Okay. So when they open and put the money, what are they going to put on top of the, the label? <laughs> I mean, that's just common sense. Okay. Well, common, is, common sense ain't so common these I mean, days, so obviously. How are they going to get, gonna put the money through the slot if the big tape is there? Okay. A big, <laughs> big pull me sticker is there. <laughs> okay. So no. how do you do it? You block it. Look, look, look. You block well, it. I, look. look. That's why I want to do Wait, hold on, wait. Yeah. So let me let me get out the way because I got a wide, I got a big, I got a big back. She always want she always want money. Okay, so step by step. So she got the vending machine face face down, so the front is on the facing the bottom, and then you can see that she's y'all can see what she's doing. She's saying it's like wrapping a Christmas gift, and she's telling me to pass the tape. You want the scotch or you want the you want the scotch tape or the shipping? Yeah. You got to be specific. That we got different kinds of tapes around these parts, so y'all can see what she's doing. Professional taper. <laughs> You better get my money tomorrow. <laughs> that, but, uh, what you gonna What you gonna do with your extra. money? What you gonna do? This is not extra. This is what you get. What you got paid for already? You know, you, you're supposed to get extra. Remember you said you know, I gave you the extra. You, know, you gave me a Hershey bar. Let <laughs> me a Reese cup and a Snicker. <laughs> <laughs> Josephine says she love you. My mother is a whole vibe, y'all. She literally, she crazy. So she's basically literally folding it like how y'all would fold a um a Christmas gift. They love y'all. They love you, Ma. Can you tell them that you love them back? back. Always want some money. Darn right. Okay. Now I'll get my other leg because then I go this way. So she's so sure so put, hold hold it up so they can see it. So okay. right now this is this is the front. This is the the first cover with bubble wrap and so now we'll she's gonna go this way just so this part can be make sure this is more safe more right secure here. okay so just, just got that plastic thing so let me go make that a little so quick. she's gonna go make the another the other set of bubble wrap so far pay her i'm gonna pay her no mind you pay me no mind So I have three different size boxes as well because of course I offer three different size vending machines and I made them 
I'm telling you, y'all, I be, I literally, this is, this is trial and error for me. So, the first, um, time I ordered the box, I ordered a 12 by 15 because I'm like, I'm making 12 by 15, so it makes sense, but it don't make, it didn't make sense because I didn't consider how much wrapping of, you know, bubble wrap that I had to do. When you wrap it with bubble wrap, of course, it's going to give it, it's going to add extra thickness to it. So the 15 by the 12 by 15 by 6 box didn't work. So that was issue number one. Then I ordered a 16 by 20 box because I made the same mistake. I'm making 16 by 20 vending machines, so why not get a 16 by 20 box? And it was the same thing as this one. I didn't consider the bubble wrap. So now I use the 16 by 20 boxes because I already still have them. I use the 16 by 20 boxes for the 12 by 15. If it's perfectly, I have extra room to add extra um, packaging, like uh, the paper packaging on the side so that it's secure. If y'all ship items, you already know sometimes those shipping carriers are very negligent. And um, I want to make sure that my customers are going to be receiving their product intact. So we we extra wrap. We we I done been through it all where customers was, you know, um advised me that they I think haven't you're overdoing it, but I'd rather have that front part. You say you be overdoing it? Yeah. Well you know how many complaints we have already. What's that number? One, one We have two. One. Two. And it's one, and it's two. from customers in Alabama. So I don't know what the shipping carriers be doing over in Alabama, but they they don't they don't care. And so you know, sometimes I take a loss because I have to replace, I have to replace products. So we, 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 we package real well. So for the 12 by 15, I use the 16 by 20 box. And for the 16 by 20 vending machine, I use the 18 by 24. Fits perfectly. So now she's going to uh, cover it the opposite direction just for that extra security and, and, um, Padding in the front where the acetate is. Okay. So again, and then for the eight by tens, I use like a, a smaller box. They cost so much to ship. Yeah. Um, the cheapest that I was able to ship was $9.35. But baby, when I tell you uh, the graduation mothers, they willing to pay any and everything. I, I feel so bad. My inbox is so full of people. At some, it was three people that asked me. They was like, um, I know that you guys sold out on your website, but um, can I still place an order? Are you accepting pre-orders? And I'm like, what? Hold it? I'm like, I, I can't. Um, styrofoam sheets to cover what, what, um, Josephine said? Oh, yeah, yeah, styrofoam sheets, yeah. Oh, I ain't got no styrofoam sheets, no, I ain't got that. So that's how it looks. And then we do the box to fix. And then we're gonna put put it in the box. You gonna get the box? The 16 by 20. Hello, I just, you ain't hear what I just said? I wasn't not paying attention to you. Mom, you're supposed to be paying attention to your employer. When I get paid, I'll pay attention. <laughs> so yeah, this is what this is how I've been wrapping it. Nothing part, not you know, nothing crazy. Everything is nice and secured and packaged. This water is so refreshing. Oh my God. Woo. Yeah, but Nairi, you're right. These are um these are expensive to ship. I took a loss. I took a loss on the shipment as well, but it's all good. It's a it's a learning experience for me for real, for real. For real, for real. It's a learning experience all all the way around. Do they ever ask you to, um, no. So I don't offer filled boxes. 
um, for clients that I have to ship them to, if that makes sense. Because it won't, it won't stay um, in the box. So the only time that I offer filled is for customers. Oh, thank you. Y'all showing out tonight. I truly appreciate y'all so much. Thank you so much for the donation. I, I, I feel the love tonight. I feel it. Thank you. Can you grab this, please? Um, I lost my train of thought. What am I saying? Can you grab this? I can't see all this crap. Thank you. Oh. Sorry. I am. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, filled. Okay. So I only offered the filled for local pickup. Um, for people that's in New Jersey or, you know, surrounding areas that don't mind coming to pick up. All right. So this is the box. This is the 16 by 20 by, I think, 6. The depth is 6. And so we literally just paste it in the inside. You see how nice that looks? Nice and clean. I got a little extra space here. And we put packaging paper right in the, the area. So that prevents the vending machine from moving side to side during transit. And then I got a little bit of room here at the top. So I put some packaging paper on the side and at the top. And that's how I do it to get paid. <laughs> that's it. Then I'll go in and I'll put... You need one of the papers? Oh, no, you don't need the paper. Okay. The invoice. And so how I was able... How I'm able to keep track of all one million of my orders is I have them color-coordinated. I have them color-coordinated by, by sticky notes. And then I also was able to print out the child's picture. So I can know, you know, which is which. That's I have like a little system in place. So just put the picture with it. Put the picture with it? I've been sending them out with them so they can see. You ain't putting out the shipping label, right? No, I didn't put the shipping but label. No, no, we ain't gonna close because we be forgetting who who. Then I'll put my thank you card in there. Unfortunately, I'm out of thank you cards, so I might have to print some on my own. And then we will Close it up, put the shipment um, stuff in there, and that's it. It's a nice, nice size to close up. Beautiful. Okay? That's it. Here, Mom, put this in your room. Come on, Mom, come on. Uh, now? Have it in my account tomorrow. I'm not having it in your account. Yeah. Do I look like PNC Bank? Uh, okay. When you do that next month, <laughs> I'm glad you seen how it's done. <laughs> <laughs> you said, I'm glad you see how you how it's done. All right, y'all. So we've been up here for a minute. Do I have any questions? Any concerns? Any I look I look like nobody loves me. Oh my gosh. Any questions? Any concerns? Any anything before? We head up out of here. Let me see if I turn this off. Okay. It was the light. The light was making me look crazy. Any other questions, any concerns, any anything before we head out for tonight? I know it was long. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. So sorry. I just thank you so much. You are so welcome. You a question. Was this? 
She made my night. Ma, you may not reunite tonight. <laughs> she started laughing. She a piece of work. Go be with your man. I enjoyed every minute. Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to go. Was it easy to understand? Did I? Did anyone have any questions that they were thinking in their head and before they were able to um, ask it, I answered it? How much is it for one box? Child, my prices is going up. Yesterday's price is not today's price. You know how many people, Josephine, in the industry, in the, in the crafting industry, like veterans, called me and was like, girl, why you, why your price is so low? I got cursed out. Absolutely, I'm take I'm ready to take on the world. You we 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 are we gonna take over. My prices have to um change expeditiously. Um so for an, for example, for eight by ten, I was charging thirty dollars for it empty. For the twelve by fifteen, I was charging fifty dollars for it empty. And then for the 60 by 20, I was charging $60 for an empty. And I got cursed out real bad. Um, so I'm ready to start making this this weekend. You should. You should. It is, um, I wouldn't necessarily say it's hard. I will say it's time consuming and um, very tedious. The cutting, the gluing, the, you know what I'm saying? The measuring, uh, very, very tedious. But if you purchase my template, I provided the foundation for you guys. So you don't really have to do too much of trimming or too much of, you know what I'm saying? Uh-uh, Nari, we got we to gotta increase those prices. They cursed me out big time, like... Are you crazy? Do you know how much your adhesive vinyl costs? Do you know how much, like, because I, because I, I don't want to break people's pockets. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, it's a, it's a lot. Y'all see how much time, girl, and if you mess up, if you mess, do you see what happened when I messed up? Like, it prolonged my entire process. I'm definitely purchasing your templates. Yes, let me know. Never knew how much. Nicole, they cussed me out big time. Um, I want to purchase the template. Okay, yes, I purchased the template tonight. They are the best I have seen. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. So I honestly really took the time um to measure everything that I do. I have all I have about maybe 10 proto 10 to 15 prototypes. Um and that was for me just making sure that all of my alignments were good. All of the measurements that I had was good, was accurate. When I cut everything, everything was just going to align up nicely. Um, and, um, you know, I just wanted to make sure that I help, I help people. Where to buy the templates? Um, the templates are in my description. They're on my website too, Josephine. Get the hands by Javaya.com. The inks are expensive, absolutely. So it's the ink, it's the material. So I got cursed out so bad that it made me reevaluate my whole entire life. Like I like for real, for real. And the people that I surround myself with, first of all, I'm 32 years old. I'm gonna be 33 this year, so I'm young. But I've been in the industry for a long time, so I do know a lot of people, a lot of veterans that you know put in the footwork, been in the game for a minute. And I happen to have established a relationship with them. So they're like my big sisters. Everybody I surround myself with is older than me. Older and more experienced. So I do take con constructive criticism very well. These two women are like big sisters to me. They called me and they was like, Vaya, why your price is so low? So I'm over here. I'm in somebody else's group. And I'm seeing, you know, in the beginning, I wasn't getting no orders. So I was like, damn, like, excuse my French. I'm like, dang, maybe my prices is too high. 
So originally I had them at a certain price. Then I'm in this group where everybody's selling their vending machines. I'm seeing how, how much they're pricing it for. And I'm like, well, that's why I ain't getting no orders because my price is too high. So I changed the prices to the prices that I had. The two women called me was like, why are you charging that? So I'm like, well, I'm doing market research and I'm seeing, you know, how much other people is pricing it. And they was like, well, have you seen the finished product? Like, have you seen how some of these finished products look? They were sending me pictures and everything. They was like, you cannot compare yourself to people who are, be who are beginners. Like, you have took the time out to master what it is that you do, how you do it. You don't see no glue nowhere. You don't see no crooked edges. You don't see no raggy edges. You are using high quality foam board. You are using high quality adhesive vinyl. Then you have to factor in your labor, like how much you want to get paid per hour. So you need to, um, so this is everything that they're telling me. they like, you need to um, identify how much it's going to cost you to produce the product first. How much a foam board costs, how much glue you using, you got to plug some, some stuff up, that's your electricity, how much um, plastic hinges you got to use for your products, all of that, everything that you use, your, um, your, um, your Velcro, everything that you use to produce the actual product first, then factor in how much you want to get paid for your labor. That's where I messed up at. I'm over here thinking about not hurting the next person's pockets all while I'm hurting my own pockets. You know what I'm saying? But that's just a part of me being an empath. But sometimes you got to separate that from being a business person. If I kept moving like that, if I kept lowering my prices to fit people's budget, I will have no business. So now... I have to increase my prices. Hopefully, people will appreciate all of the hard work that I put into it. Um, they will be able to make it last forever because it's uh, so good. Um, I don't want to make that mistake. Please don't make that mistake. Then, on top of that, the shipping rate. My crazy tail self, I don't even think I want to tell y'all. But it's girls' night, so we talking. My shipping price, y'all, I had it set to a flat rate of $8. $8. So y'all already know right then and there, I was losing out on money. Losing out on money. Right then and there. $8 for shipping. Most of my clients are on the West Coast, right? Most of my clients are on the West Coast. Depending on the size of the box and how much it weighs, shipping, the most expensive shipping that I had to ship out was $15.50. My crazy tail self charged $8. This is me being 100% transparent with y'all. Y'all seen how much time it took. Y'all seen what happened when you mess up, when you got to reprint, when you got to cut, when you got to trim, when you got to glue, when you got to do all of that. Okay? Don't be like me. You be better than me. But all of this takes time. It takes energy. It takes practice. I had a sweet, um, a sweet girl, a sweet girl contact me via um, Instagram and she asked for my opinion about pricing. I'm the wrong person to ask about pricing strategy, clearly, but um, based on the information that was provided to me, I like to sh pass that along to other people in case, you know, they have issues with pricing things as well. So the young lady reaches out to me. She showed me a picture of her work. And, um, she advised me that, you know, she's, she, she typically does not make 
like projects like this. She's a baker. But she purchased my template and she made the vending machine. And she asked me how much she should charge for it. Now, me personally, I'm a very honest person. And um, anything that I say comes from a place of, of, of love. I never want to hurt anybody's feelings. But I never want to lie to anybody either. Okay? My response to her, based on what she what she sent me, I asked her if it was okay if I gave her a recommendation. And she was like, yes, please give me your recommendation. So I told her that she should practice a little bit more before she um, decide to, decides to sell the vending machines. And I went in and I told her why I give her this recommendation. And then I told her why I don't think that she should charge the same price that I charge. Because I've been in the game for a little bit longer. My knowledge is, you know, a little bit stronger. My expertise um, making these is there. I, you, I don't feel that anybody that's a beginner should be charging the same price as somebody that's been in the game for a minute. That's just my personal opinion. One thing about the cancel culture is that it's real. And the last thing that I want for anybody to do is, or, or for, any, for anything to happen to anybody who's in business, is for their business name to be tarnished. You know what I'm saying? And so I provided her that feedback. And, um, hey, Shamira, girl. I provided her that feedback. And um, she said that she's going to, you know, she's going to practice. But, um, again, that goes back to the same thing with me where I lowered my prices because a lot of people who were just starting out making them were having lower prices as well. Some of them, excuse me, was only printing just the front, like just the front of the, you ain't answered my question yet. What was your question, Key? Some of them was just printing the front. They weren't doing the front, the back, the top, the two sides, the shelves. Like it was none of that extra stuff. So I definitely learned my lesson. But yeah, if there's no other questions, no other concerns, I guess I'll just head up out of here. But I don't want nobody's business to be tarnished for, um, you know, y'all you, know how people are. People are mean, people are cruel, people are disrespectful, people will call you out. You know what I'm saying? Like, they, they people, humans, really do the most. And I would hate for somebody who's working so hard on building their business, you know, experience so much hate and disrespect and, you know what I'm saying, for a, for a product that they're not necessarily strong with making yet. And so that was what, you know, I recommended. I started from the bottom too, like, you know. I still be messing up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, y'all see me mess up. But I, you know, I, I always, um, I'm always honest. Yeah, I ain't seen no question. I ain't seen no questions from her. I will have to watch the replay. I don't sell. Just love making things. Oh, Okay. Yeah, like make it if you're like a hobbyist or if you do this like for a side hustle, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? But when you when you enter the realm of actually selling, where should you get the velcro from? Where who get the velcro from? Me? Where you get the velcro from? Oh, Walmart. I get it from Walmart. This is, this is it right here. I look like a little boy. Wow. So any questions, any concerns, any anything?
Because if not, I'm going to head up out of here. Thank y'all so much for sending me the donations. I made some money tonight. Woo woo. Any other questions? Any concerns? Oh, what I was saying, Visionary, was that once you enter the realm of charging people, um, your work, your your work, your work is your repetition. Your rep. I can't speak today. Your work is a representation of your reputation, your business reputation, right? And so, even though a lot of us start from the bottom. We have to be mindful of how we price things. Um, I feel like a lot of people, when they're starting out, they they price things high with lack of knowledge, lack of um, expertise on how to make things. They make it one or two times and, you know, want to sell it for, you know, sell something higher than what they, you know what I'm saying? Like... A lot of people I see, especially in these Facebook groups, they, they do that. Um, I get it. We got to start from somewhere. But I don't recommend people pricing things super high until they're able to master it nicely. I am, very, I am a very experienced crafter. I teach crafting classes at a college. Selling is not my thing. Oh, okay. Okay. So, like... Your professor at a college, um, a, a crafting teacher. What, what, at, like, what's the title that they give you? Is it crafting teacher as a professor, or is it a specific title, like an art teacher? That's dope. I never, um, I never realized that there were crafting teachers in college. I well, maybe I never paid attention to it because I didn't go. I went to school for business. For business management undergrad and then for um, human resource management graduate. Yeah, selling is, selling is, it's a whole, it's a whole different thing. It took me a long time to get to the point where um, I'm selling beyond just my local community. It took a very, very, very long time. Where I'm from, where I'm from. People don't value creativity that much, if that makes sense. Um, they they want to pay. They only see um, some of our work as just arts and crafts and not like masterpieces where I'm from. Um, but then as I started to like expand my horizons, most of my customers are on the West Coast. So I get all of my leads from California. Las Vegas. I have a lot. I had somebody from Utah before. Somebody from South Dakota. I'm like, what? South Dakota? So yeah. But it took a long time. It took me years. My husband to tell you, I I I cried so much, y'all. I was like, am I am I making the right decision? What the heck is going on? Like, why is it taking me so long to like get to a place of where I need to be? This is wild. But it take time. What you said, Ma? Oh, no, I'm getting ready to go to bed. oh yeah, me too, y'all. So we don't have any other questions. I'm gonna head up out of here. Um, visionary creations. Let me know. I'm interested to know about the college teaching. That's dope. That is so dope. A volunteer teacher. I teach paper crafting and cricket classes to senior citizens in California. I am on the West Coast. Oh, junk. Hold on. What happened? I'm going to try and make it. Oh, Josephine, thank you so much for purchasing the template. I'm trying to go back to... I'm a business major. Oh, okay. That's what's up. Oh, wow. That's what's up. She says she's a volunteer teacher that teaches the um, senior citizen paper crafts. Wow. That's what's up. That is what's up. Make sure you are monetized on this live. I am, I think. But I'm going to um, 
Lena, hi Lena. I purchased. Thank y'all so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's an unpaid job. That's okay. Because you're helping you're you're helping um so like for me with senior citizens, like some of them just need something to do to, and 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 they need something to do to keep them happy and uplifted. I visited a lot of um not like senior citizens in college or anything like that, but I guess it goes hand in hand. Um the nursing homes, like seeing a lot of them like play the little card games or like they're outside watching TV and they you know what I'm saying? They need something senior senior citizens like to be active. And so even if you're not getting paid for helping them or teaching them, you're still doing a good deed and you're bringing happiness to them. So kudos to you. I do um beautiful boy. Hmm? I do um I do good deeds too. Um outside of social like outside of social media. You know how some people be bragging about what they do for people. Like they be like, oh, um, I took a homeless guy to McDonald's and brought him a fool. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people be bragging about doing things like that. I don't. I keep it very anonymous. Um, I like to help people anonymously, and I do my good deeds that way. Um, but good deeds are good deeds. And your blessings, your blessings is going to be huge if it's not huge already. So, shout out to you. That's dope. I've been trying to host classes with Michaels, like cricket classes with Michaels. The ones over here, though, they don't, I don't know. I, I need to speak to somebody higher. I haven't had an opportunity to contact, like, the higher up. But I'm about to head up out of here, y'all. So if we don't have any other questions about, um, it is the Osher Lifelong Learning Program. There are 104 locations. Why I can't see? Why I keep doing that? Oh my God! What you watching, ma? First forty-eight. I'm trying to see. Oh, let me see. Night, everyone. There are 104 locations in most states for age 50 and over. Oh, don't tell my mama they consider senior citizens 50 and over. Ma! What? You a senior citizen. Sure, <laughs> senior citizen, my money. <laughs> she says senior citizen, my money. <laughs> I'm out of here, y'all. I'm so tired. I'm starting to act silly. She says, senior citizen, my money. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Oh, my God. I did not know that senior citizens started at the age of 50 <laughs> And do classes on the vending machines. I do them as well. Oh, wait, this is some valuable information right here. You are great. This is good stuff. Thank you, sis. Oh, and shout out to Keeks too, because Keeks told me off too about the prices. And she gave me some advice on how to um how to um respond to that young lady that asked me how much she should charge. Keeks, you know, she gave me some advice on how to respond without hurting hurting the young lady's feelings. But again, I'm never in a position to like to be disrespectful or hurt anybody's feelings. You know, we keep it cute. We keep it cute over here until it's time to get ugly. We haven't had to we didn't need we don't need to get ugly right now though, because we we don't need to. We don't need to go back to how we used to be. I know I don't. 
But um, I never want to hurt nobody's feelings, but I don't want anybody's business to be... I'm honest, is all I'm going to say. Um, but shout out to you, Keeks, for, you know, giving me some advice on how to be nice and, and approach the young girl. She said, um, you can definitely travel state to state to do cla and do classes. I do them as well, and every time someone sends an example... Why I keep... It keep going out. And every time someone sends an example, it's your video. You are awesome. Oh, really? Ah, oh, thank you so much. I try. I do, I do want to teach classes. It's just I'm so busy with orders right now. Ever since my video... Ever since my video reached 2 million views... The, 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 like, it's, it's, it's crazy. I don't even want to talk about it. I'm happy, but it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. My, one of the videos reached 2 million and the other one reached 1.3 million on Instagram. And then on TikTok, we are almost at a, a million over there. So my inboxes, my, my emails, my, everything is flooded. Flood it. My Shopify chat box. I had people like, oh, um, it says it's sold out, but can I can I still place an order? Um, can I pre-order two, two million? Two million views. What about a paid Zoom class? Um I'm not technically technically like i'm i'm challenged in the, in the technical side i i don't know how to set up a zoom i don't know how to do any of that <laughs> I, I don't know how to do any of that that's why I, and then like as far as youtube um i could have done an edited video like you know step one Print your image. Step two, apply your image to the... I could have had did it on YouTube, but I don't know how to edit. I don't like to edit. So that's why I come here on live because there's no editing for me to do. It's not hard. And then I be feeling like my angles, like y'all see me over here struggling with my camera angles. I don't want people to pay for a course and then I'm, I'm fumbling my, with my camera and... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's different if it's live like this. We chilling, we vibing, we talking, we laughing, we hee hee ha hoo and stuff like that. But when it's like a paid session, I want it to be, like, nice and professional. It's a good time to start, especially with the summer coming and your library um have money. I look, that's true. Zoom would be the same. Children and adults. Yeah. I don't know if I'm even going to have time. Like, I don't even know if I'm going to have time. No excuses. You can do it. If you if you extend a helping hand, husband, we can probably get some, something going. I actually want to start taking, you could do a pre, um, a paid pre-recorded class too. That's true too. That's true. I have considered that. But even with that, that comes with me editing. I have to edit like the uh, the videos. You can become a millionaire. You just said you have over two million viewers. Two two over two million over two. I'm just I'm just sitting on money because I don't have a team. Um, I don't have a team. I don't have like a lot of support. Literally, it's me, my mother, and my husband. My husband don't really do anything but um, take the packages to UPS. My mother packaged the package, but everything else falls on me. I do the inventory. I do the ordering of my supplies. I do the making of the stuff, the assembly. Like, it, it's really... These orders that I have now really made me realize that I need help. Real bad. My shop, my inboxes is so crazy. My cousin... Reached out and was like, I will help you. And you don't even have to charge me. She reached out and she said, Javaya, your inbox is giving me anxiety. And then not only that, 
that's only on um, one social media platform. We haven't even gotten to the other two yet. You know what I'm saying? So I'm I'm definitely missing out on a lot of opportunities. I actually had a celebrity reach reach out to me. Um, I wasn't gonna tell nobody because you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wasn't even going to mention nothing. But I did have a celebrity reach out to me, a reality star. Um, anyone want to enter? <laughs> yeah, we're, we're hiring. No, but all serious, in all seriousness, the amount of orders that I have now that's due for April and May has literally made me realize that I need help. That I need help. Yep. So I hired a virtual assistant and the kind of help that I need is hands-on help. Like I want people to come here and, and let me teach them how to do it. That's a start. It will get there. Pray on it. Yeah. Stop taking orders, do classes, or do digital products. I got to take the orders because that's where my money comes. But I do sell the digital products. The digital products are doing well for this right here. And um, what else did you say? Digital products, classes, and you said something else too. I like making the vending machines. I just got to, I can't accept um, as much orders as I accepted previously. Like that got to change. But I do want to do classes. I will have, but I, and I'm I'm in New Jersey. There's not a lot of people in New Jersey. Like people, the people that want to learn from me, they like in Georgia, they in Florida. They will have to literally travel out here to take a class. That makes me nervous because, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what? Just what if it's not worth it? You know, they gotta pay for flights. People gotta pay for hotels. Like. It's a lot. Unless we do the Zoom. But with Zoom, it's like it's not the same as hands-on. We'll figure it out, though. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. I'm going to figure it out. But I appreciate y'all so much. I'm about to head up out of here. That's why you do Zoom or Google Meets. I'm looking at my husband like, you making all these recommendations, all these suggestions, and all you do is deliver packages. Boy, bye. Good night. All right, y'all. I'm out of here for real. Thank y'all so much for tapping in with me. I hope that y'all learned something. If you have any additional questions, you already know what to do. Let me know. You can um don't email me. Don't email, don't inbox. You may I'm you may not get a response, okay? <laughs> you may not get a response the way my inboxes and everything is looking right now, okay? But leave me a comment down below if you have any other questions, any anything. And I will get back to you. Thank y'all so much. Thank you for all of the donations. Thank y'all for rocking with me, allowing me to talk. I do talk a lot, but I like talking. Talking is good for me. Um, thank you. Good night, Nina. Good night. We'll watch the replay. All right, Shamira. Thank you so much, y'all. Have a good night. Talk to y'all later.